Hey there, Marina here with Let It Go Athlete Forward. What day is it? I am declaring Thursday to your own horn. Thursday. Doot, doot. <laughs> I want to put this out there because it's uncomfortable for me. I've always been uncomfortable with self praise or even receiving praise. Um, a lot of my friends will attest to this that I have a hard time receiving praise. <laughs> I know there's a part of me that wants it and likes it. Um, I do like getting comments on my videos or my blog. I don't get very many, but I do them anyway. And I enjoy so much doing them. But once the praise comes my way, I just, there's a lot of resistance to it. So I'm tapping a little bit here. Because I feel it now in my throat. And a sensation in my chest. I want to talk to you about my contributions to Fast UFT. I've been holding this back for so long and I always thought, wow, why do I need to let everyone know all that I've done for Fast UFT? What is this drive? What is this needing for people to know thing? Well, I don't know. All I know is it's okay for you to say what you're proud of and I want to challenge you to do the same. I remember back in the day, I was in Switzerland back in 2008 or 9, and I was going to see a Jungian analyst. She was a lovely lady, and we worked together for a year. Uh, once I found Fast CFT, it was amazing how well the two worked together to uncover some story and then tap it away. But I didn't find Fast CFT until later on in my analysis. And I remember one of the homeworks she gave me was to write a list of all the praise that I've ever received from people. Basically a compliment list. And I found it so uncomfortable to even think about doing this, and it still makes me a little uncomfortable. She told me, you know, just see and, you know, try and see what happens. So for the next week, I didn't do it. I totally resisted it and didn't do it. We talked, we had our hour, and then she said to me again, your homework for next week is to write down all the nice things that people have said about you. And I finally did it. And it was amazing once I sat down how the list started growing and growing and pretty much I couldn't stop writing. And it felt so so good to receive that praise. But with what I know now, it really wasn't those people giving it to me anymore. They gave it to me that one time. And if I revisit that in my mind and then feel it in my body, that's me giving it to me. So, what is holding me back from giving self-praise? We are so rooted in this society to not toot our own horns, to not brag because it's just bad taste. But I do want to share what I've contributed. I'm proud of what I've contributed. And I feel really excited about where Fast UFT is going, even without me, after a year of me being out of the community um, directly. So yeah, I'm going to list off a couple of things of my contributions and it's just for the hell of it. And what I want to get out of this really is to show you if you do this for yourself, whether on video to the world or just writing it down on a piece of paper, how good it feels to claim it, own it, and say, you know what, I did this and I'm proud of this. One of my first contributions to Fast UFT. Do you know that phrase, pick, poke, and provoke? That was me. But it was a it was a collective collaboration and one of the I think level two trainings that I attended, maybe it was level one and two kind of combined back maybe a year and a half ago, maybe more, sitting in training and Robert was saying that this method, this system that he came up with that had seven points at the time, it may have more now, of all the different ways that you can provoke people to trigger them and then to help them get let go of it, it didn't have a name. And it just kind of came out, everybody loved it, and now everybody's using it, which is fantastic. It's really cool. And it's so funny because I even forget sometimes that that's something I made up. But yay Marina! <laughs> The other one that I'm proud of is that I redesigned Fast GFT website. It's still looking the way um, I put it together. There's a lot of new content and it has grown and evolved. I also put the community page up and a lot of content that I wrote is still there. 
um, the YouTube, um, what is that project, the subtitle project also. That was an idea that came to me and it's amazing to see that grow. To have, you know, put together the foundation of that and people taking off and really translating the YouTube videos is fantastic. It's helped so many people. Number one, being hungry, and that's where I'm from. So it's just a super special thing in my heart that that happened. For all the Hungarians who have found Fast 50 and it's helped. And that community is growing and it's amazing. Um, I am proud of writing the first comprehensive manual. There were some manuals, but they were never really training manuals. There's a lot of good reference material in them, really good good material, but it was never really a very step-by-step -step manual. And I'm sure again that it has evolved since I've put it together. And there was a lot of collaboration by other Fast GFTers too, but I feel really, really proud that I put that first set of manuals together for level one and two. And I believe it's mostly the same still, and I'm very happy that it's helped a lot of people learn from it. Nowhere near perfect, but at least it was a good start. And I know Fast Duty's really evolved even since I've been there, but I just feel really proud to have been a part of what it was, and a part of the foundational building blocks of it, um, just in the last two years. Of course, it was built the whole system was built over many, many years, but in terms of helping get it organized, I am proud of this, and I wanted to share that, and I feel it in my throat, and it's not comfortable, but I am tooting my own horn here, because this is a part of my history, and it's the truth with Fast GFT, and I'm very excited about where it's headed, I'm very excited about how it's evolved even since I've been a part of it, it's really exciting to see the community grow and so many amazing practitioners rising up, speaking out, writing a book or two or three. I know there's more coming and it's amazing. So I'm just so proud of everybody and I'm proud of me too. And thank you for listening, whoever you are, if you hear this. It's Toot Your Own Horn Thursday. And I urge you to do the same. What are you proud of? Whether it's with your healing journey, or what are you proud of that people have uh, praised you for? What are you proud of in, in any aspect of your life? What are you proud of? What are you going to share and shout from the top of a mountain? I did this, and I'm proud of this. Or people think I'm really great, and maybe, maybe I can receive that a little, just a little bit and let myself feel good. We're just so conditioned to not brag. And even the word brag is a negative word, but it's, it's not. You know, it's okay to acknowledge how far we've come, to see where we stand, and then where we're going to go from there. Thanks a lot for listening. <laughs> Go to your own horns too. Okay, bye. It's okay to speak up. It's okay to say what you're proud of. And I want to challenge you to do this.